In 2008, the United Nations announced that more people were now living in cities than in rural areas. This means that we're actually in the midst of the largest human migration in history. So we need to figure out what this means. How do we make this transition sustainably? And what impact are our cities, our settlements, having on the climate and the planet? My background is in environmental science and international relations, but now I work on issues of climate change governance, the human dimensions of sustainability, how we trigger innovation and drive towards a more sustainable future. My background is in paleoclimatology, which means the study of past climates. Imagine, for example, where we are today covered with a huge pile of ice, two kilometers thick, as it was about 16,000 years ago. That was a very different world. Yet, global average temperatures were only five or six degrees cooler than they are today. We're headed toward a future where we could see three degrees, maybe four degrees warmer. That's also going to be a very different world. We're searching for solutions to climate change, creative ways that we can respond to this problem through either reducing our greenhouse gas emissions, mitigating climate change, or adapting to climate change, protecting ourselves against the impacts. This course, Climate Literacy, helps you cut through the noise. It helps you participate meaningfully in a discussion about climate change, and also consider the causes and the consequences of this problem. Climate literacy means you know the essentials of how our climate system works and how humans affect the climate system. Think about it as flows of energy among the atmosphere and Earth's surface and outer space. We need to understand these flows so that we can align mitigation strategies with them. We have an urgent challenge. The good news is that anyone can participate. Join us and become part of the conversation.